Stan, here we are in the loft. Oh, place. Oh. Uh -huh. Right, so my friend, oh, this thing pulsing all the time. Stop it. Mobile phones. Yeah, so my mate at work uh, has access to a house clearance. Um, I think it's his mate or his relative. So every now and again, things come his way and he passes them my way. Now, I always tell him the the worth of whatever the item is. So I don't want to rip him off. Um, so he passed this my way. It's obviously a, a Mark II British helmet. Now, the I'll read out what the stampings are, then we'll have a look at it. So it's a FNL, so Fisher and Ludlow Limited of Birmingham, and the, the steel shell is stamped 85, and then 1 slash 1940, so I'm presuming January 1940, not sure what the 85 means. Now, I know you probably shouldn't take these things apart. I do like to clean them, but to get the date of the liner, I had to take the liner out and have a look, and the liner was made by the Teddy Toy Company Limited Dagenham. It has two for a Mark II helmet. 1930, can't make out the last letter, probably 1939. It also has ERE stamped on the inside. Now, it is a bit different from... Uh, I had a, a little bit of uh, chit-chat with the uh, military collectibles, sent him some photos over and give you a heads up what he thinks it should be, that maybe it should have the cruciform later um liner system in you know the, the the cruciform pad this has got the oval pad which we'll have a look at and it's a different color from the other one i have has got a black um a black cushion uh, so it might have been uh issued to maybe home guard or something like that and it's been just customized for that person's use now the or factory guard because if you can see there in the front H, W, and Co. Can you pick that up on the? I'll take it off the artillery shell. So H, W, and Co. I had a quick look on the internet. Can't see anything on there. It is in khaki. There's no designation on here of either one to four holes to say it's weaker than combat. So I'm presuming it's combat standard. There is a bit of a funny thing going on with that nut there. Don't think that's standard. And, and also that leads you to the inside, which has the oval pad, rugby ball sort of shape. But the other one I've got, and the other ones I've seen are black. This is obviously a, a beige colour. There is a name in there, Cart or Carl. Can't quite make that out. But you can see in there, just there, it says E-R-E. -E. Now that could be a homemade washer, piece of wood, could be anything. Um, the rest of it's fairly standard. There's seven there, written on the the liner cradle, which obviously I would imagine denotes the size. Uh, won't fit me. Uh, nothing ever does. Uh, and the maker's mark for this helmet is on the back side. You can see the stamp. I'll turn it around that way so you can get a better look at it. Oh, no. <laughs> I did it right the, road the first time, looking through the... There you go, there's the stamp, FNL 85-1-1940. Has that con concussive chin strap. Don't know sure of the belt buckle. Has anyone seen one like that before? Uh, don't think, I can't remember. I haven't got the other ones up here, and I'm not going to the man cave. <laughs> that looks, looks a little bit different from what I've seen before. But a nice uh, combat level helmet. Whatever it was used for, home guard, factory guard, whatever, thinking maybe it could have been home guard and after the war repurposed uh, as a, some sort of hard hat with a stencil on. The stencil on looks really old and faded. And if I'm going to, I didn't check, but I'll have a quick look right up close to it. it, it I mean, it looks, it looks like it's been on there as long as the paint. So it might have been a factory guard, uh, but then that, that sort of makes me think, well, okay. Usually factory guard stuff has the one or two holes in, but um, I haven't really got a bona fide British Mark II combat helmet. I've, I've got a South African one with no liner. I have a, a, a sort of more factory guard type one, which 
plays the part as a combat one because it's in the in the gods out the way. I've got this one. I've got a police one in black, which has no holes in. So again, that says to me it's combat grade, even though it never saw combat. And all my other British helmets are Mark Fours. I've got a Mark Three. Uh, so yeah, that, getting a Mark Two one. I think I've got about sixteen British helmets now from the nineteen thirties right through the, the two thousands. So that's another nice addition. From my mate at work who sometimes watches my videos. So thanks, mate, from work. Keep it coming. Whatever you've got, Steel Helmet Stan will have. But obviously, I always say to him, this is worth X, Y, and Z. I mean, we we always come to a, a, an arrangement. I didn't pay the going rate for this, obviously. And this is probably, you know, if you whack this on eBay with the stenciling, buy it now, 50 quid, 60 quid, it'll go. It, it, it definitely sell. That's what they're going for nowadays, but uh, I, I didn't go for that. Uh, my mate, has, um, he's not, not a collector of, of this sort of stuff. That's why he passes it uh, my way. So, that's Stan. That is my latest acquisition. Uh, a Mark II, a British helmet, 1940 dated, 39 liner. And with HW and Co on the front. And this is Stan, and I will, of course, see you.